Hi, welcome to the Jim RPG Show. Yesterday AMD announced their Zen 3 CPUs along with their pricing and I wanted to make a quick video and just give you my reaction to the news and also I wanted to share some of the community reaction as well to the Zen 3 announcement. Now if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more gaming videos like this. Now I want to do a quick update to the post that I made yesterday about uh, AMD announcing their CPUs and where I said everybody wins because what I meant at the time was that I wasn't sure whether the 5950X or the 5600X was going to be released and I thought they were just going to release the 5900X and the 5800X. So when they announced that I was pretty excited for the people who wanted the 5950X and that's probably and that's why I said everybody wins because uh, everybody gets a CPU now. Now the pricing on the other hand um, isn't so great for the 5600X and the 5800X and we'll talk about that a little bit later but yeah that's what I meant when I said everybody wins and you know looking back at the message uh, I actually had the prices in that message so it looked like uh, I was cheering on a price increase which wasn't the case. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a quick look at the specs and I'm not going to go over everything in detail. You can watch AMD's presentation yourself and then after that I'll give you my take on the news and then we're also going to go and look at the community reaction as well. Now let's start from the top of the stack, the 5950X. This is the 16 core 32 thread CPU. It has a 4.9 gigahertz boost with 72 megabytes of cache and 105 watt TDP. The other CPUs that AMD announced were the 5900X, which is the 12 core 24 thread CPU with 4.8 gigahertz boost, 70 megabytes of cache and 105 watt TDP. The 5800X is the 8 core 16 thread CPU with 4.7 gigahertz boost. It has 36 megabytes of cache and 105 watt TDP. The 5600X is the 6 core 12 thread CPU with 4.6 gigahertz boost and 35 megabytes of cache and a 65 watt TDP. Now in terms of pricing, it's pretty much the 3000 series pricing plus $50 on every CPU. So for the 5950X, it now starts at $799. For the 5900X, it's $549. The 5800X is now $449. And the 5600X is $299. And all these CPUs will be available on November 5th worldwide. Now in terms of motherboards, they didn't announce any 600 series motherboards, so it looks like we're going with the 500 series for now, so that's the X570 and the B550 motherboards, and if you're an existing owner of one of those, you will need to update your motherboard for it to work with the latest Ryzen 5000 series CPUs. For 400 series motherboard owners, they did say that the BIOS would be available in January. Now in terms of cooler, you do need to buy your own cooler for all of these CPUs except for the 5600X. Now in terms of performance, AMD is claiming that the 5900X is getting 26% better performance than last generation. And I'm going to assume that's the 3900X, not the 3900XT here. That said, that performance increase varies from game to game. So as you can see here on this chart, uh, League of Legends actually gets 50% better performance in 1080p, but for Battlefield 5 and Total War 3 Kingdoms, it gets a lot less. So it only gets 5% and 6%. So that's the AMD Zen 3 announcement. Now I think we all knew what the performance was likely going to be, judging from the leaks in the past week or so. So if you want more performance results, make sure to go and check out my video on the leaked benchmarks for the 5900X and the 5800X on my channel. Uh, but really what we were waiting for was the pricing. And I've got a bit of a mixed reaction to the prices. I'm not sure AMD really delivered on the pricing here because the 5900X and the 5950X seem like pretty good value in my opinion, even with the price increase because the 5800X and the 5600X seem like poor value in comparison. And I think I know why they did it, because uh, they don't want to sell you the 5800X and the 5600X, because those two chips actually go into the other chips, uh, the 5900X and the 5950X. So the 5800X 8-core 16-thread CPU will go into the 5950X, because that one is double the number of cores and threads. That's probably why they price the 5800X so high at $450. And they don't want to sell you that. They'd rather you go and buy the 5900X. At least for now in the launch period anyway, when uh, supply is very limited, 
So I think AMD knows that if you must have a mid-tier CPU, there are some options available right now anyway. So you could get a 3600 for $179. And even though it's 6 cores, 12 threads, and the next-gen consoles are 8 cores, 16 threads, I think that it's not going to matter too much anyways, and you're going to be able to get to 60 frames per second uh, for most of the games out there. So the other option is to get the 3700X, and I think that is around $299. And that's an 8-core, 16-thread CPU. So that's going to be able to match the um, next-gen consoles, which also have 8 cores and 16 threads. Now, of course, you could also go Intel. So I think the 10600K would be a really good option. And that's about $260. That's the 6-core, 12-thread CPU. And you can overclock that pretty high, almost the level of a 10100K. So I think um, that's a pretty good option as well if you want to go the Intel route. So let's go to some of these posts from the community from you guys. And Turbo C minus minus writes, honestly at launch price, none of these are great value compared to older Ryzen chips, especially on sale. This seems like why they didn't even bother with cheaper SKUs here. They'd be competing with themselves too much. But you're right, the 5900X is the most compelling on this list. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind AMD finally getting paid, they deserve it. I just hope these price increases don't continue and they keep offering real performance gains for the money. But right now, the 5000 series looks to be for enthusiasts, certainly not value-oriented buyers. These prices are aimed to please the shareholders, certainly not us. I completely agree with um, Turbo C minus minus. Now, this is the post where I said everyone wins, and I didn't really mean to say uh, that about the pricing. <laughs> I meant uh, there were CPUs for everyone uh, for the 5950X all the way down to the 5600X. Arijit writes, how is this a win? Six cores for the price of eight cores, 40% increase in price with respect to the 3700X for 25% performance increase. Mark Wood writes, if you say so, it just looks like AMD jacking up the price to me. You can get an Intel 10 core for the price of that eight core. So I went over to Reddit to see what they were saying and most of it was pretty similar to what uh, people were writing all over the web anyways. So I picked out a couple of comments. Um, this one is from Killchain. He says, I'm a little disappointed by the bump in prices. Not that they're bad, but if they were to stay at the old prices, they would have been absolutely phenomenal. Of course, if the benchmarks we saw in the release slides are confirmed. I'm glad that the 5950X will be available at the same time as the rest, not later like it was rumored. Okay, this one is from ABA Cab BMK. He says, 2.8X more efficient than 10900K. So this was from one of AMD's slides, and I'm not really sure how they got to 2.8, and that's why I wanted to point this out, because if I'm looking at tech power up, and if the 3900X and the 5900X pretty much has the same power consumption, then what you're really getting is about two times more efficient than the 10900K. So if anybody out there who um, can understand how they got this 2.8X, then uh, please comment down below. There were some pretty interesting comments on Twitter. Techno Esoteris Neo Reaction says, For some reason, gamers didn't get the memo when Zen 2 Threadripper came out at higher price points than Skylake X Refresh. But since gamers don't buy Threadripper, they didn't see the writing on the wall. If you want budget, you can buy Zen 2 or Intel. Nerdtech writes, The lack of a 5700X value 8 core alternative and 5800X and 5900X pricing makes it obvious AMD doesn't want to move many full 8 core Zen 3 dies for consumers yet. We will probably see a 5700X early next year as 7 nanometer node becomes less supply limited at TSMC. Nerdtech also writes the 5800X 8 core versus the 5900X 12 core pricing and no 5700X is AMD clearly wanting more sales of 5900X, not just for the upsell, but I suspect other motivation where one 8 core die is more valued internally currently than two 6 core dies. Perhaps Epic 3 ramping to certain partners. Tech Deals writes, Part of what makes the Ryzen 9 3900X better than the 3800X is the 70 megabyte of on-chip cache versus 36 megabyte on the 3800X. You might want to get a Ryzen 9 5900X when they launch. So one final tweet, Video Cards writes, The 5950XT is 250 points faster than the RX 5700 XT. So there you go. Everybody should go out and buy the 5950XT. All right, so that's it for this one. Even though that was a 10 minute video or however long it was, it took me like an hour to film and I think you can see it getting dark here. So I'll just leave it there. 
Uh, thanks for watching and um, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so and I'll see you in the next one.